Welcome to Cycle Sports TV. I'm your host, Patrick Harris, and today we're going to have a little bit of fun. recent Total Control Trading Track Clinic, we had the opportunity to put a pair of these, I know they look like sunglasses, but they're not just sunglasses, these are actually what are called pivot heads, there's actually an HD camera right there inside the glasses, and we put them in the helmet of one of our instructors, Adam. So how do we demonstrate this, I mean you can ride behind them and you can film them, but ultimately we thought why don't we put the camera inside the helmet and show you first person how and when he's turning his head. So what we're gonna do now is take you over to Horse Thief Mile, which is a little 1.1 mile track inside Willow Springs International Raceway, where Adam is gonna take a few laps around, but take a look, I want you to pay special attention to when he turns his head and how far he turns his head, because that makes a big difference on being able to negotiate those turns. And as you'll see, he does a great job with that.
It's interesting. It's, I feel like it might have a little bit more mid-corner grip, but wow, it's nervous now. Right, but it's way more stable than the, the regular minis with the little wheels. Oh, absolutely. Oh, hands down. It's phenomenal. Like, the amount of... I love how light these are. It's just, it's just so... Wow. Phenomenal feedback, phenomenal feel. Everything communicates with you. This is a better motorcycle than anything I've ever owned. <laughs> so unfortunately for Adam, he's probably going to wind up buying one of these CRF 150s and throwing some 12 inch wheels on it. Thank you, Lee Parks, for selling more stuff to all of us. Uh, and he's probably going to wind up buying a pair of these. But uh, either way, hopefully this was helpful for you. Hopefully this gave you an idea of how far you need to look through a corner and how soon you need to look through a corner. Because as you could see, Adam was having a great time on that track. He was really hauling the mail on a little 20 horsepower, 18 horsepower bike. So it was quite amazing. We hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all of the normal social media outlets. That way you can keep track of what we're doing and coming up in about a month or so, we're going to be having some live shows coming up. And if you're subscribed to our YouTube channel, you will get a notification that those live shows are coming up and we have some really fantastic guests lined up for that. So stay tuned, subscribe, and we'll see you real soon.